Microsoft Enter Azure AD supports a variety of multi-factor authentication methods. And there are many policies and settings that you can configure for these methods, ranging from your SSPR policy to your conditional access policies. These settings and policies define your user's authentication, registration, and sign-in experiences. This illustration will help you understand how they all work together. We begin with all of the authentication methods supported by Microsoft Entra. Next, you as the admin can configure policies to define the methods that you are going to allow your users to register. The settings you define in the authentication methods policy, the SSPR policy, and the legacy MFA policy control what your users see when they go to the My Security Info page and try to add an authentication method. In this example, the user is allowed to register three types of authentication methods and SMS is not one of them. The next set of policies define the authentication methods that your user must register. If a user doesn't have the required MFA setup, these settings will interrupt the user at the time of sign-in and guide them to set up the authentication methods. This usually happens when the employee is a new starter or maybe you define a registration campaign to nudge users on SMS to set up the Authenticator app. Finally, we come to the authentication methods a user must use for a given sign-in. With the authentication strength conditional access policies, you can define a limited subset of methods the user must use for a given sign-in. For example, you can limit your privileged users to use a phishing-resistant method when they try to access a privileged application like the Azure Administration Portal. This results in the sign-in prompt asking the user to sign in with a security key even if they've already completed MFA with SMS or the Authenticator app. Folks, this is my first video and I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give a thumbs up, share and leave a comment. Cheers.